Hi dreamers, my name is Ebony and in this video I'm going to tell you why it is important for you to keep your dreams and your desires and your vision a secret until it manifests. So no one is ever really going to see your vision until it manifests anyway because you're seeing the vision from your third eye. Nobody can see what you see in your mind. Nobody can think for you. Nobody can vibrate for you. Nobody can act for you. Nobody can force you to do anything. You are operating in free will. Okay? So, nobody has the daily experiences that you have that will understand what caused you to ask for what you asked for. What caused you to like the things that you like. You understand what I'm saying? So, if you try to explain your vision to people, the first thing they want to do is give you a barrier, an obstacle, a what if, a how. And you're out of pocket even trying to demand the how. You can't even ask God how. How are you going to bring me this? How are you going to give me this job? How are you going to move me in this house, God? How are you going to... How am I going to get this? You don't even know. So you're not in a place where you can explain to anyone else. So if you're talking about your vision, like, yeah, I want to open this business up. I want to do this. And you are presented with the challenge. It's, it's weakening the force. It's weakening your help. It's weakening your, your access to the divine because now you're introducing doubt. And now you're going to be thinking about the conversation that you had with your friend or your family member or your loved one or whatever. You're going to be thinking about that. And instead of you being open to the, the creative possibilities and the infinite flow that's coming to your life and the people that pop up, you're not going to be able to receive those because now the force is a little weak and because you've shared it with people and now you've, you've taken on their fears. So you're like, dang, you're right. I do got a baby. Who is going to watch my kid? But you may not know you missing out on a babysitter or a nanny or somebody that's right under your nose because you're like, no, I'm not. And like I said before, we live in an attraction-based universe. So the universe is like, you're right, you're not. You do have a baby. That's right. No. So the blessing that you had, you done pushed it further and further away from you is because you can't receive it. You're not vibrating on, on that creative side to where you will receive those messages. So you always want to make sure you keep Keep it, keep it a secret because when you just focus on what you want, you are more open to the possibilities. When people come up to you or when you get creative ideas, you're like, yeah, that'll help me. But if you have to go and get somebody else approval, they're not going to approve because they don't see it. Okay? So you want to stay on the positive vibe. You want to stay on the, I believe it. I have faith. If you have faith, you don't have to ask man for their approval. If you got faith in the divine, you got faith in God, and you know he's going to bring it to you, there's no point in talking to somebody that can't help you about it. So keep your dreams and your visions secret until they manifest. If you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Like and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment and let me know your experience with telling people your dreams. Especially if you're not talking to dreamers, too. That's the main thing. You cannot talk about your dreams to people that don't dream. It's just not going to work, okay? So, um, stay focused, winners and dreamers and angels and lovers and everyone. Stay focused and watch your dreams come true.